Hello and welcome to today's Clearing Live. Um, today we are joined by Adam Nichols from the Department of Law and Finance within our um, University of Bedfordshire Business School. Hi Adam. Hello Pete. Um, just wondering if we could start off um, while we get some questions in, if you could just give us a little overview um, of the Department of, of Law and Finance. Okay, so law as a subject is crucial to it underpins everything really in our lives. So if you've gone to the shops, if you've bought something, if you're going traveling on the bus or the train, there's a contract involved. If you have a dispute with your neighbor, it could be nuisance. So that'd be the law of tort that might be involved. If someone was to um, injure you, then potentially it could be the criminal law that's involved. So it underpins so much of our lives. And it's an area of, or a subject that at the moment is going through a lot of changes. And what we've been doing here at the University of Bedfordshire in the law department is trying to change the units in order to deal with um, the reform of this area or this subject in the future. So, for example, if you wanted to become a solicitor or a barrister, there used to be a very different route that students would take. And nowadays, what the route is going to be the SQE, so Solicitor's Qualifying Examination. And we've been making changes to the unit at the University of Bedfordshire to adapt to that. For example, you can see here I'm in the moot court. And so what we have here is somewhere where students can practice advocacy. And advocacy is a crucial skill, whether you want it to be a solicitor or a barrister, or if you're interested in any other potential careers in the future. And it's essentially the art of persuading um, the court or persuading the judge of your submissions. And here the students have um, a setting that they can use that reflects what you would have if you were working in practice as a solicitor or barrister. Brilliant. We also have cameras attached in the room, which allow recording, so students can record their performances, and it allows them to watch it over in the future, see what they, they've done, what they could do differently, and yeah. So with that, you, you mentioned the moot court there. Does that mean that um, that's kind of like a practical element um, to the course, or is the kind of theory also based um, in the moot court as well? So a lot of law subjects, when they're taught at universities, are theory-based, so it's focusing on the theory of what is law within a given unit. Here we're trying to incorporate a degree of the practice elements as well, things like advocacy, drafting contracts, so that students have those skills that they need when you leave the university and want to go on to work in a law firm or a barrister's chambers or local government, for example, you'll know exactly what it is you need to do and how to do it, as well as having that knowledge of the law, which is also, of course, really important. And so the moot court, we use it for mooting competitions. The students can take part in internal competitions. So something that looks really good on your CV, as well as external competitions with other universities. Fantastic. Um, we've got a question here about placements. Um, are there placement opportunities within um, any of the law courses? There's no placement opportunities within the law courses, but there are, um, uni there are law firms that have relationships with the law unit. And so students have had work experience at local law firms as well as city law firms. Um, we've got links to the Citizens Advice Bureau. There's the Law Clinic, which we have here at the university. And so this has been operating since about 2015. And it's a student-led program. And it offers free legal support and assistance to members of the public on a pro bono basis. So what that means is it's free. The, the public aren't actually paying for this service. And it will be on issues relating to housing, consumer law, employment law. And the students who take part in the law clinic, they're supported by lecturers and experienced practitioners. So it's allowing them to develop those skills that they need when they leave the university and want to actually practice in these fields, as well as it's adding to their CV, because law is a really competitive field. You've got lots of different students who might do the qualification, they might have a qualifying law degree. Um, but that on its own won't be enough and we recognize that here at the University of Bedfordshire so we've got these other activities to allow students to lift their CV in that way. So you, you talked about the um, law clinic there, is that open to um, anybody um, studying a law degree at Bedfordshire? Yes it is. Um, and just with the law degree we've got one, uh, we've got a question come in around qualifications so if I study LB Law at Bedfordshire what, what, what does that enable me to do once I graduate? So if you had a qualifying law degree, then that usually the usual route that students um, want to take is that they either want to become a solicitor or a barrister. And as I've mentioned, those routes are changing. They're going through a change at the moment. 
Um, but you'll be well prepared for either of those routes. So if you wanted to, to go down the bar or if you wanted to practice as a solicitor in a law firm, those options would be available to you. Because of the way we've structured the law course, it also offers um, opportunities that other law degrees at other universities wouldn't. So for example, we've um, tailored it to meet up with some of the requirements required if you wanted to become a legal executive. So that'd be the Silex um, route. And so that could be another thing that students might want to take as an additional qualification upon completion of their law degree. Brilliant. We've got some questions coming in that I think we've kind of already covered off, actually. So just a reminder, you can always watch um, watch the live broadcast back um, throughout today. And if you've got any questions that spring to mind um, later on today, do pop them in the comments box and we will work our way through them and get back to you. And you can also find out all the information around both the courses and um, the £2,400 scholarship that's offered at Bedfordshire um, and the £1,500 bursary at the website, it's beds.ac.uk forward slash clearing. Um, and what, what kind of advice would you give anybody who's thinking of applying um, to, to study at Bedfordshire? So if you're interested in studying law um, specifically, I would say make sure that you've got an idea of what the law course actually involves, not just if you want to study at University of Bedfordshire, but other universities as well. Think about, as I've mentioned, how the law is changing in the future. So if you're set on, I want to become a solicitor or a barrister, be aware of those changes that might be coming on because some universities might not be taking that into account. They might be offering a law degree, but it hasn't been adapted to deal with the SQE and the potential changes that might bring about. So think about what practical experience you might gain because you don't just want to have the knowledge of knowing about the law, but you want to be able to actually represent people, to put it into practice and have those skills which are valuable no matter what field you go into. So for example, I've got um, three brothers. All of us studied law, but all of us have gone into different fields. I've gone into teaching. I've got a brother who's working at a law firm, one that's working in business and one that's now gone into cybersecurity. So it's the skills that you get from a law degree that can be really beneficial and they're valued no matter where you want to apply in the future. Um, other things I'd say is maybe speak to the lecturers. So if you're attending today, that's a, it's a good way for you to understand exactly what does the university offer, what might be part of the course that you're contemplating taking part in. Um, and also think about what other extracurricular activities are available as I said, to help improve your CV, because when you finish, there's going to be lots of different students who have law degrees, probably some with very good grades. And you have to think, what else is going to make me stand out? Because law is a very competitive field, but it's something that we're focusing on at the University of Bedfordshire and trying to give our students opportunities um, that they might not have elsewhere. For example, with the SQE route, so the route to becoming a solicitor, we've already negotiated an agreement with the University of Law so University of Law offers the professional qualification if you wanted to become a solicitor. And so if you were to study here, you qualify, you get your law degree, as long as it's a 2-2, you'll be entitled to a form of discount at the University of Law. And you already have a, um, a contact there, a link with the University of Law in order to study as a solicitor or a barrister. That's brilliant. Thank you very much um, for your time today. Again, if there's any more questions coming in, please do pop them in the comments box. Um, but for now, Adam, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Pete.